for the crews out there. Uh, Justin, did you hear what George just said? Sounds like you guys are going to be uh, getting some rain for a while. Uh, we've been getting a lot of rain already. It's been raining hard here uh, for the past uh, 15 minutes or so. Not good news for the crews here who have so much work to do, especially the power crews who have been out all night uh, trying to restore power, and we'll have more on that uh, coming up. Um, more stories emerging here from the victims and uh, what they went through in their final moments. We're just about 100 feet here from the 7-Eleven where three people died in this storm. They were coming uh, right down the street here, a mother and her four-month-old daughter. They were seeking shelter from the tornado as they saw it approaching. They ran into the 7-Eleven just about 100 feet from where I'm standing, thinking they would be safe there in the cooler. But the tornado came right through the store and killed both of them and one employee of that 7-Eleven. One of the many uh, terrible stories emerging now a few days after this storm. Here are the latest numbers on what we know about what's happening here. Officials have now identified all 24 people who died in this storm and said everyone thought to be missing is accounted for. As many as 13,000 homes were destroyed or damaged. Uh, the damage estimate now at $2 billion. We have learned that President Obama will be here uh, later this week on Sunday to attend a memorial. Uh, so we will be here to cover that for you, of course. It's the same day uh, as the city's memorial service, the day he will be here. And 33,000 people, we understand now, have been affected by this storm.